All right, guys, welcome to day three of your Fort Wayne fun project. So day three, which happens to be a flex day for my red day kids this time, um, you need to work on your financial research options. So if you remember last class, we worked on finding you a location in a building. So now we need to figure out how much all of that stuff is going to cost. So on our day three, it says start your financial research options. And that opens into a Google Doc template. Just like with all the other Google Doc stuff that we do, you have to make your own copy of it because you cannot change my original. So whatever my business name is going to be, so souffle budget. With this budget template, it will calculate things for you automatically so that you don't have to add and subtract and figure all that stuff out. But you do have to know things about your business. This template is going to be based on having a bakery. So for my income, I put my business name here. For my income, that's how much money I'm going to take in each month to, to keep my business going. So this first one for where do you get your money, that's going to be from the sale of your goods. So maybe I sell um, 40 cakes, uh, 2,000 cookies, 200 bagels, 200 muffins. My cakes are going to be $30 each. And then I do 40 times 30. My cookies, 2,000 cookies a month. My cookies are going to be $1.50 each because my cookies are just that delicious. So this would be 2,000 times $1.50. My bagels are also going to be $1.50 a piece. So that'll be 200 times $1.50. My muffins are going to be $2 a piece. 200 muffins times 2. Okay. So we get out a calculator. 40 times 30 for this one is $1,200 in cakes. $3,000 in cookies. $300 in bagels, $400 in muffins, and then I add all those up. So my baked goods right now, I'm going to make $4,900 a month. I'm also saying over here that I'm going to have a gift shop. So with my gift shop, I'm selling gift items for $30 a piece. I sell six of them a day for 30 days a month. That's another, that'd be like 5,400, but I think what I meant over here was $200 a month in selling stuff in the gift shop. I'm going to sell bakeware, which is like cookie sheets, cake pans, etc. That's going to be $800 a month. If you have anything else that you can make money off of, that's what would go here. This number adds up automatically. Now for my expenses, you can figure, even for your business, that utilities are going to be around $200 a month for every thousand square feet that you have. This is the business that I found in class on Thursday that I want to use for my business. So this one is 1,734 square feet. So I look back at my budget, 1,734 square feet. If I thought 200 a month for 1,000 square feet, that means that this is going to be about $300. I need to pay my employees, so that's going to be about 800. I need to buy stuff to bake all my things. I'm going to bump that up a little. Um, if you have under 50 employees, your insurance is going to be about 75 a month. And then your rent or mortgage also comes from here. So this building is $405,000. So you scroll down, you look through stuff. It has property taxes on here. It doesn't have a mortgage. So what you would do if you can't figure out the monthly mortgage rate, you can type in an amortization calculator. 
My mortgage amount is four hundred and five thousand. I'll leave all that other stuff alone. My monthly mortgage is two thousand dollars. Okay. The non-recurring expenses. This is going to be your startup costs. So those don't get included in your monthly budget. So like for my ovens and stuff, it'd be thirty thousand. Right now, I'm going to lose almost twenty-seven hundred dollars a month which means I need to make more food. So we'll say that instead of 40 cakes, we'll sell 60 cakes. But you're gonna go through and you're gonna get your budget so that this number here has to be positive. So your budget needs to be ready when you walk in the room on Wednesday. Second thing you need to do, everyone should have fixed their discussion board by now. So on the discussion board, you're going to reply to three other classmates with these two questions. If somebody already has a bunch of replies, then pick someone else to reply to. If you have any questions, which I'm sure you will because financials are hard, send me a message and we will work through it together.